hunches moving sleeping on our feet pulling da -da -da, punches what's up guys welcome back to just jp my name is justin and today we are listening to a viewer's choice this is blood on the bluegrass by the band the legendary shack shakers uh, this is a request by ky libertarian KY, thank you so much for the recommendation. I'm pretty sure we've done a recommendation for you before. I think on JPMP, but it's okay. The legendary Shack Shakers are an American rockabilly blues band formed in Paducah, Kentucky. They are inspired by rock and roll, country, blues, old time music, carnival music, swamp rock, and other obscure Southern music genres. Orlando traffic has got to be like just, I haven't been to a lot of other cities like here in the US, but it was like Fury Road out there. Basically, it was, it was like Mad Max Fury Road. Like, literally everyone's like pretending they're like Evil Knievel, like just stunt driving everywhere. I don't know. Of course, you guys can join me in the comments down below. I want to know your thoughts on the song. You can join me on Twitter only if you're interested. Hope that you guys are having a great day slash night afternoon when this video comes out. Let's get into it, though. This is Blood on the Bluegrass by Legendary Shack Shakers. Cross from house 
I like that. I like their style a lot. You know, you can definitely hear the Southern influence. I mean, to me, I, I definitely hear like the swamp rock part, maybe, uh, especially with like the banjo, uh, the harmonica, very folky elements, very bluegrass. Okay. Now, bluegrass isn't a genre that I really know. So I'm not going to have much to say uh, in comparisons or anything like that. But it's a sound that's instantly recognizable. You know what you're getting right out the gate. And it sounds good. They have a great quality. Love the singing in there. He has just a little roughness in his voice in certain parts that adds to the story and what's going on relating to the lyrics. A little bit of southern grit, if you will. Not grits, but southern grit. There's a lot of texture. There's a lot of different instruments and sounds going at once. But I think that's part of the fun of it, especially if you get to see them live because you get to see them all contribute a nice section to the overall song. And of course, you're going to have instruments and things that stand out more in the forefront, like the vocals, uh, the harmonica, things that lead the guitar, the banjo. But everything just coalesces and mix, mixes into like a nice overall sound. You can hear all the instruments distinctly and they're all doing just their own thing. And it sounds good when it combines into the song. Like right there, just a little bit of ah! like not screaming, but and it's funny listening to them uh, and reading kind of their influences and the genres that they combine. Uh, one of the one of the influences or one of the genres that they are uh, called is like Southern Gothic, which we had listened to a little bit before on the channel with the Dead Tongues Ebb and Flow. And yes, I had to look it up because I couldn't remember <laughs> the, the band, unfortunately. But you have that darkness, not only in the message and the lyrics, which are obvious, but in kind of the tone, there's like this slimy, kind of dirty tone underneath. And I don't mean like they're slimy or they're dirty, like it's just in the music itself. Like you, you can hear there's something gritty underneath. And I think maybe that's where that swamp rock part comes from. This has a nice dark influence right underneath and it's, it's slight. It's slight, it's like a muddy layer beneath everything. Cause the music is, the music and the instrumentation, everything is still like typical for the sound, but it's that, it's that little bit of grease in the pot, that little bit of oil that just makes it a little thicker, a little dirtier, uh, but to the benefit of their overall sound. I like the, uh, the title of the song, Blood on the Bluegrass. Not only like literally like blood on the grass, like in the story, but like blood on the bluegrass, there's a little something uh, dark, moody, about this particular bluegrass song. There's figuratively blood in this bluegrass song. Uh, the lyrics, way down in a South Kentucky town where all, where all the stubble fields grow, one boy did rise with the devil in his eyes whose heart was dark as Westfield coal. Heart was dark as Westfield coal. And then it goes on to describe the murders. <laughs> it says that the song is about Rod Farrell. I don't know how to spell his name. Rod, like Colin Farrell, not like Pharrell. Yeah, he killed uh, Naomi Ruth Queen and Richard Wendorf. Uh, okay, well that, yeah. Okay, so he killed two people. I just read a little bit about it. I don't really care to read more about the details of it. See, that's what I mean, like even the subject matter they draw from is inspired by uh, blood on the bluegrass, dark tones. So really interesting to draw that from because it does have this kind of swampy tone. And the darkness of the story carries very well over into the music, which is funny because the music is kind of fun, but there's that little bit of uh, under it. Oh, that little story, you know? I definitely enjoyed this song. I would like to hear more from them just to kind of see what else they're capable of. But I did enjoy this song. I don't know if I'd listen to it all the time, but it's definitely good for what it is. Of course, I want to know your thoughts on this song, so you can join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, as always. I will see you guys tomorrow.